Vanessa here. I'm a marketer here at Google for Google Cloud Platform. And hi from me, Alexander. I'm on the Google Cloud Sales team. On this episode, we'll look at Cloud Bigtable, the same database that powers many of Google's core services, including Search, Analytics, Maps, and Gmail. We'll also run through a quick demo of the Self-Paced Lab, where we'll use a command line utility to connect a Cloud Bigtable instance and read and write data in a table. Don't forget, you can also apply what you've learned here today with a $300 free trial credit to use on GCP. So let's get started. So let's look at some of the key features of Bigtable. Because Bigtable offers high performance under high load, large apps and workflows are faster, more reliable, and more efficient running on Bigtable. Bigtable is ideal for storing large amounts of data with very low latency. Databases can automatically and seamlessly scale to billions of rows and thousands of columns, allowing you to store petabytes of data. Plus, you only pay for the amount of storage you use. Because Bigtable is a fully managed service, you don't need to worry about configuring and tuning your database for performance or scalability. We'll also create backups of your data to protect against catastrophic events and allow for disaster recovery. Bigtable is offered through the same open source industry standard API as HBase, the native database by the Apache Hadoop project. The HBase compatible interface provided by Bigtable supports the movement of applications between HBase and Bigtable. As Bigtable is part of the GCP ecosystem, it can interact with other services and third-party clients. In terms of security, all data in Bigtable is encrypted both in flight and at rest, while access to Bigtable data is easily controlled through IAM permissions. In this hands-on lab, you'll use the CBT command line utility to connect to a Cloud Bigtable instance and read and write data in a table. You can check out the link to start the Quick Lab here. You will need to set aside about 30 minutes to complete it. So far in the lab, we've created a Cloud Bigtable instance and configured CBT to use your project and instance by modifying the .cbtrc file. We create a table called my-table. We list the tables to verify my-table was created. We add a column family named CF1. We list the column families to verify CF1 was created. We put the value test-value in row R1 using the column family CF1 and the column qualifier C1. We read the data added to the table. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to share your experiences or ideas of using Bigtable. It's always good to hear from you. If you haven't already done so, check out this link where you can apply what you've learned using a $300 free trial credit on Google Cloud Platform. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.